You're listening to The Crypt and join me on the show today is Sean Whalen who played Roach in Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. So you're very welcome to the show today, Sean. Hi, how are you everybody? Well, firstly, in the States, you're best known for your role in the Got Milk commercial. I'd say people are constantly saying stuff to you in the street from that commercial. How annoying does that get? Uh, it was very annoying when it first started. Um, the first few years, it, it was pretty rough. But, uh, uh, I mean, I had people yell at me and say, you know, why don't you spit it out? And Because <laughs> uh, I, I was uh, covered with, I had a big thing of peanut butter in, in my, my mouth, uh, peanut butter bread in my mouth, and I couldn't uh, answer a very important question on a radio quiz show. So, and they were yelling at me, and they would, you know, shout Uber across the uh, <laughs> acro- across the street, and slowly and surely it faded out. And as I work more now, I get that occasionally, but I luckily get most of my other work. So I was I was happy happy about that <laughs> do you know it reminds me of that episode in friends where joey done a milk commercial and he couldn't open the milk carton and then he became known as the guy who couldn't pour milk and then speaking of friends i am so jealous because you were actually in an episode of friends and like that's like my obsession i love that tv show what was that experience like well i was actually on uh the fifth episode and the fifth episode was before that they had before they ever had gone on the air. Yeah. So it wasn't a big hit yet. Uh, and uh, I know I had known Lisa Kudrow from the Groundlings. We were both in the Groundlings together, which is a comedy improv troupe in Los Angeles. And uh, we had known each other from that. And, and um, it was it was it was pretty funny because she uh, uh, yeah. You know, I knew her, and it was called Friends Like Us at yeah. that point. It wasn't even Friends yet. Uh, um, so it, it was very interesting, you know, to be a part of it, and I just remember them saying, and, you know, be funny, but don't be too funny, because we, do, you, we don't want you to be funnier than the regulars. <laughs> so, uh, they were very conscious of, of their guest stars not being funnier than the, the regular cast members. So, uh, you know, because they were just starting out. They, they wanted yeah. them to shine, so it was pretty funny. Well, it's crazy to think like you're on that show and you never even knew how massive it would get. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And then, of course, your first movie role then was in Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs, where you played Roach. And that, that yep. movie is such a classic. How did you pre- prepare for that role, like to convey Roach's personality, considering his tongue was cut out? Yeah, well, <laughs> I actually um, had, a co- I, I had an acting coach that we worked on it before I went into the audition. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was great. He really made me work on, uh, you know, not just to be crazy and screaming and crawling around the floor, but actually have a point of view. And, you know, he was really sweet and innocent and very childlike mm-hmm. and very emotional, and uh, but smart and savvy. Like, you know, he was like a little... Dennis the Menace type guy in, the, in between the wall. So we really worked on finding that uh, because, as you said, it ha- had to be conveyed through my physical actions and my emotions, yeah. and not my, um, not my uh, no no dialogue. Yeah. So uh, you know, just really had to, to key into that, and and you had to be really open uh, emotionally. Um, you know, he was so he really was like a, a child. You know, yeah, because yeah. he was he was stuck in his growth. You know, he didn't get to grow up, so he was like a little kid. And then, of course, Wes Craven directed that movie. He's like one of my horror heroes. What would you say is his strongest strength as a director? Uh, that he take he wants the acting to be ser- He takes the acting seriously. Um, he he did not phone it in with us. He he really wanted us to understand the characters he wanted us to understand how we would act in these situations mm-hmm. um so so it was you know grounded in, in emotional reality and that was kind of interesting coming from a horror director and then you've worked of course in all mediums of acting you've been on film tv stage commercials personally what is your favorite area to work in and why uh i love comedy comedy is my favorite 
um, because I love to make people laugh. Yeah. It's my favorite thing to do. I loved it when I was at the Groundlings and we had a live audience. I loved it. Um, I love it on a set when you know I'm, I'm kind of improvising or, or, or doing something really funny, and as soon as the camera stops, the whole crew starts laughing really hard. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's that's my favorite. I've always loved to do comedy. I loved it since I was a little kid, um, making people laugh. And uh, I, I, luckily, I can do drama. But I, I would, prefer, if I, if someone said, "What's your dream job?" I would love to be um, doing comedies. That would be my favorite thing to do, oh, either in movies or TV. And of course, you were in a lot of the Disney shows. You were in Hannah Montana, Wizard of Waz- Waverly Place, Zach and Cody. With all the drama you see now, with all these Disney kids and yeah. news all the time. Who would you say was the most down to earth of the ones you'd worked with? Um, I would probably say Selena Gomez and, and the other girl that was, I forget her name, she was the red-haired friend on the show. She yeah. was great. I really liked her. She was Selena Gomez and her friend. Um, she had a, she kind of had a sense of, uh, of, of who she, who she was. I mean, Miley Cyrus was, but I, you know, I saw these guys and they were very young, yeah. you know? Miley was really young, and and Zach and Cody were really young. Um, but uh, I also did a show on Fabulous with Emma Roberts, and I thought she was pretty down to earth too. Um, you know, again, it's it's hard to say who was down to earth then because they were kids. You know, they yeah. they they when we grow up, different things happen to us. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, they hadn't get got swept up in so, that kind uh, of world yet. Absolutely, absolutely. But I really liked working with Selena and, and the other the other girl in the show, the girl with the red hair. I'm, just, I'm just bummed I forget her name. <laughs> but she was she was really great. Her course. best friend on the show. She was fantastic. Yeah, I remember when my, oh, my little girl loves all those shows. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you do a lot of the horror conventions. Have you any yeah. Have you any weird stories about any strange fans you've met along the way? Well, my favorite story is... Uh, 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 there's a very famous picture of me as Roach with, you know, kind of smiling in a creepy way and holding my fingers together. And um, a fan came up and he looked at it and he said, hey, you know, what is that, uh, those prosthetics? How long did they take? And I said, oh, well, because I had them on my fingers. And I said, yeah, it, they took about an hour and a half because they, my fingers were like an inch and a half longer in the movie they yeah. had you know i had long really creepy fingers mm-hmm. and i said it took me like an hour and a half every day to glue on the fingers and this and that and he said no 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 no, not your fingers the the messed up teeth and gums oh, and no. i went uh, uh those are mine actually oh, no. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and i said he said well is that some kind of disease and i said he said what's it called and i said well it's called uh Dad had big, uh, dad had no lips and mom had big gums. <laughs> and, and he, uh, he looked at me and he goes, oh, okay. And he just walked away and, you know, didn't want a picture or anything. <laughs> oh my God. I'd say he was absolutely mortified saying that to you. Uh, I don't think so. He was just kind of, he was so oh. matter of fact about it. He was so matter of fact and then just kind of walked away. Oh yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't embarrassed or anything. Oh God. He was just kind of. Um, about it. He's like, okay, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> like, that's what the funniest part was. He wasn't embarrassed at all. Oh, good God. And, like, do you know when you're at the convention, because you always see on, like, YouTube and that, you'd see loads of videos of, like, do you know, just, it's probably people who just have blogs and that doing interviews. Like, would you have to do many, sure. many of those when you're at a convention? Uh, yeah, you do. You do. Um, but, but it's fine. You know, it, it, it's, yeah. uh, it, it, it you know, you're out there to meet the fans and people who can put you in front of the fans. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you do. I do a few per convention, probably like three, two or three each one. Well, you know, isn't it great though? Like, because when you think of it, like the people under, under the stairs was 1991, so long ago now, and it's still such a classic. And it's great to see, you know, people still remembering you for that part so many years later. Well, especially because it was my first film, and so it holds a dear place in my heart because of that. And then um, for it to be revered by all these fans, it's just it's amazing. And then, of course, you were saying there how you love comedy. So, can you tell us about your YouTube channel? You have some great videos up there. Uh, I, you know, I started it. I didn't do that many, um, but I was really. Uh, 
uh, just wanting to do something creative, and I did a few on there. I did them like every week, but I realized, you know, I should probably take my time and do more and get some more production value. So that's my favorite one is Dorothy 50 Years Later, yeah. um, a groundling sketch I did. And uh, I'm actually, you know, working on developing that further because uh, it got such a good response. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but they were, you know, just funny idea. I just really wanted to do something creative. And, and you know, and then some people, my managers and agents were like, you know, you don't need to do that. Just, just, just do stuff every once in a while that are higher quality. So, uh, you know, taking that in consideration, but then if you do something higher production, it takes so much longer to get everybody together. So mm -hmm. I'm happy with the little chunk of videos that are on there, but uh, I haven't really really been as active as I should be because I kind of moved on to different things. And like what, what projects are you working on at the moment? Uh, well, like I said, I'm trying to develop the Dorothy 50 years later uh, mm -hmm. uh, further with that. I've got a uh, couple um, horror movies that I'm writing. I do a lot of acting coaching now. I do oh, acting coaching. I, yeah, I do it via Skype. I have clients in Florida, Nashville, Pit Pittsburgh. And I also do it in LA. So I'm doing. Uh, I do. So I do acting workshops, all day workshops. I'm doing some in Nashville a few times a year. I'm doing some in this place called Temecula out here a few times a year. So I really, I really like giving back and and mm -hmm. doing the teaching thing. It's actually really great. Uh, and then I have. I'm coming out in Jersey Boys that was directed by Clint Eastwood. So oh, that's really exciting. And of course, as you were saying there, like doing the, the lessons over Skype, technology, the way it's come on now. Do you know, it's great that you could actually give coaching to anyone anywhere in the world. Yeah, absolutely. So it's really, it's really great. It's, it's actually great. And anyone can get in touch with me at that, uh, the way you got in touch with me, my Facebook page, that guy, Sean Whalen. Mm -hmm. And if you're a Twitter also, Sean? Yeah, it's, it's at that guy SMW Sean Michael Whalen so at that guy SMW excellent well listen Sean thank you so much for your time today it's been a pleasure talking to you the, the people under the stairs is one of my favourite horror movies so it's been been a, a pleasure to speak with you oh thank you so much I had a great time